he's not just any normal person. He's an extremely Israeli war criminal. Today, the University of Minnesota Law School has invited and is hosting a speaker from Israel. He is the co-author of the Israeli Defense Forces Code of Ethics, and um, while that may be Code his... Code of Ethics? Yes. Um, I think he's best understood as an apologist for war crimes and a uh, PR specialist for the occupation, and so we're here today to both denounce him and, you know, the things he's advocating claiming, for example, that Netanyahu showed restraint in the Gaza war last summer, a war where thousands of people were killed and 70% of them were civilians. Um, but also to challenge the university for using university public resources um, to support this kind of uh, event, and which fundamentally is a support for Israel. And finally, there is an international boycott of Israel including an academic boycott, and we're here to urge the university to honor that boycott and help bring an end to apartheid. Yeah. Yes. We have posted rules of decorum that have asked that no recording or cameras are open to the press. Have you? Probably go to Palestine. Does that look good? Yeah. Also, it's the same Yes. Free, free Palestine! Sorry? I take it you were asked to leave. Yes, I was asked to leave. Did you disrupt? Uh, not to my knowledge. I was standing with the sign. Okay. What did they tell you? They, they didn't tell me anything. They just like grabbed my hand like this. And, and like really pushed me hard, but, but they didn't say anything. Okay. Were you you're causing okay? a disturbance? Yeah. Were you causing a disturbance? Um, I, I wouldn't say. I, I was just chanting, you know. And, and you know, in America we have freedom of speech, and you know, you think that chanting would be allowed under you know the Constitution, uh, but apparently not. You're an officer, so you have to have some kind of. Free 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 free